Let me be direct. To those in Aromia, the OLA, you made a genuine effort to reach a deal at the negotiating table in Dar es Salaam. Don't give up. To those fighting in Amhara, to those that call themselves the Fano, many in Amhara are passionate that their cause is just. If so, you should make those arguments through dialogue and not violence. I'm Irvin Masenga, the new United States ambassador to Ethiopia. I'm thrilled to be here in the land. US ambassador to Ethiopia, Irvin Masinga, has outrageously entangled himself in Ethiopia's local politics, openly taking sides and shamelessly supporting Oromo nationalist causes. This reckless behavior in no way serves the long-term interests of the United States. His cozy relationship with Abiy Ahmed is blatantly obvious. And if that wasn't enough, the ambassador had the audacity to refer to Addis Ababa as Fin Fin, the Oromo nationalist name, despite the official name not being legally changed. This deliberate and provocative move is a blatant attempt to appease Oromo nationalists, completely disregarding the 67% of Ethiopians who call the city home. This is not diplomacy, it's an insult. Recently, he met with Abiy's Federal Police Commissioner General to conspire on the extradition of anti-Abiy critics from the US. This is an outrageous betrayal of American values. Abiy has already extradited journalists from Djibouti. Many Amhara MPs, politicians, journalists and business people are languishing in Abiy's prisons under the most horrific conditions imaginable. Killings of Amhara people who are being slaughtered in their homes, in their streets, uh, even in their churches and mosques, for no reason at all other than their Amhara ethnicity. In a recent press conference, Ambassador Masinga had the gall to praise the Oromo Liberation Front, OLF, while viciously disparaging Fano. Let's not forget, the OLF has been responsible for the brutal and horrific killings of countless Amharas, with some reports describing the slaughter as killed like chickens. More than 200 people have reportedly been killed in Ethiopia in an attack in the Aromia region. one of the deadliest mass killings in the East African nation. Most of the dead are of the Amhamra people. The On Sunday, more than 200 people were killed in Oromia. They were mostly from the Amhara ethnic. The OLF and the Oromo Prosperity Party, led by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, blame each other for the atrocities in Oromia. Historically, the OLF is known by many Amharas as a violent political group that has inflicted incalculable suffering and atrocities on the Amhara people for the last 50 years. The ambassador knows this and yet couldn't care less. This is a blatant disregard for diplomatic norms, human decency and common sense. Ambassador Masigna's words stoked profound resentment and anger among the Amharas as he praised, acknowledged, and celebrated the perpetrators of Ethiopia's most horrific atrocities against the Amhara people. Meanwhile, he shamefully belittled, denied, and twisted the efforts of the courageous Amhara Fanos, ordinary individuals who bravely stood against the tide of bloodshed, alongside those who strove to uphold righteousness in the face of overwhelming evil. Countless Amharas endure the torment of life in IDP camps just a stone's throw away from Addis Ababa. Has he bothered to set foot among them, to truly listen to their anguish and bear witness to their tales of suffering? Many in Amhara are passionate that their cause is just. If so, you should make those arguments through dialogue and not violence. He made a sweeping statement suggesting that Fano seeks to achieve its goals through violence, which is false. Many of those fighters have lives they want to return to and didn't choose this path willingly. They were forced into it. The ambassador knows a bee has closed all venues for peaceful struggle. He even jailed his own peace minister on false charges. Ambassador Masinga's characterization of Fano as a violent entity is a shocking distortion of the truth. 
what choice do they have other than resisting? Amharas can't even live as Amhara. They don't need to be affiliated with any group. The mere fact they are ethnic Amhara puts a target on their backs. So they had to resort to resistance as a last resort. But the ambassador expressed his contempt by disparaging the cause and the people of Amhara. This is an injustice of the highest order. Amharas are the second, if not the first, largest ethnic group in the Horn of Africa. That fact must be acknowledged. The US's failed policies, which hinged on the TPLF and Oromo nationalists, have turned the entire Horn of Africa upside down. The war between Abiy and the TPLF is the decade-long outcome of failed US policy in the region. Let's be clear. The Amharas will continue their quest for justice until the killings, marginalization and apartheid system end. They will persist until their right to live as Amharas is respected. The resistance will endure. To all Ethiopians in battleground states, consider voting for third-party candidates. Your vote matters. There are many Amharas living in states like Pennsylvania, Arizona, Georgia, Minnesota, Massachusetts, Michigan and Wisconsin. Make sure to vote for third-party candidates in the presidential election. For Congress and the Senate, vote for those who understand and support the Amhara cause. Make your vote count.